here they are for one and all The moments are about to call Come on and sit down here with me They're here for you on your TV They are the moments They are the moments So come with me, give me your hand I'll take you up to moving land You can fly just like a bird And sing the best song ever heard There were the moments 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 Are you ready? Yes, I am. Here goes. One day, Moomin and his friends found an old homemade football up in the attic. What are you doing here? I've just perfected a bird trap. Hmm. But whatever for? Poor little birds. I think it'll work fine, but I need some corn as bait. I'm not giving you anything to catch those birds, little Mai. But this may be a major breakthrough in bird catching. Even so, it's still no. Hmm. When you start a new story, the beginning is most important. Now, let me think, let me think, let me think. Mmm, mmm, mm, the images, they're crowding my mind. This will be an awesome story. Hmm. I've got it. Yes, the sky so beautiful. Stretching over the sparkling blue ocean or green ocean, a translucent sky, the horizon in the far distance, some seagulls flitting about. I like translucent or pellucid. No, no, that's something different. Blue ocean, definitely. Ah, the images are coming so quickly I can hardly handle them. Oh! 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 Oh, oh dear. Is it broken? I got a bit carried away. I'll have to take a good look at it. Whatever's happened, dear? Oh, unfortunately, my writing chair just broke. Oh, my goodness. Don't look so worried. I'll take it out to the porch. Yes, of course. I'll open the door. There you are, dear. Oh, thank you. Do you think you'll be able to mend it? Oh, no problem at all. It's just a little gluing job. Oh, well, then, that's all right. Oh, boy, did you fall over with your chair? Yes, I did, little Mai, if you must know. Do you happen to know where the glue is, Moomin Mama? Yes, I think I've seen it in the cellar. I'll go and get it. Good. I'll come down with you. This looks so old. I think he should get himself a new one. Go! Here! Watch this! Oh, Moomin, you're awful at football! Not as awful as you! Must you be so noisy? You're scaring all my birds away! Oh, hi, little Mai. What are you doing with that thing? We're going to the beach later. Would you like to come along? I'll come as soon as I've caught myself some birds. Hey, are you ready, Moomin? Yes, I'm ready. There! <gasps> Did you hurt yourself, Moomin? Ouch. Oh, 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 what on earth is Pop 
breakfast chair doing out here? Oh! Uh-oh, now it's completely broken. Well, I think this should be enough. Mama, do you think you could put on some water to melt this glue for me? Yes, dear. Hmm, what's the matter with you? Sniff kicked the ball too high, and, and I ran back to catch it, fell, and knocked my head. Sorry, Papa. It wasn't really our fault, Moomin, Papa, but sorry. It was Sniff. He kicked the ball badly. No, Moomin, you didn't look where you were going. What's it all about? I don't understand you. Just tell me what happened. Moomin, Papa, I'm afraid your chair's completely broken now. What did you say? Oh! Oh! Oh. I'm so sorry, Papa. I'm sorry, too. Oh, tell them, Papa. Huh? Oh, all right. <laughs> you can stop worrying. You see, it was broken already. You see, Moo and Papa brought it out here because he broke it himself. But not that much, though, guys. Is this true, Papa? Yeah, so you can go off and play. That's a relief. Good, I was getting really worried. All right, I'd better start mending it. Let's go and play then. Are you coming, Moomin? Hmm. Listen, Papa, I can stay here and help you if you like. No, no, I can do it myself. Thanks anyway, Moomin. It was very kind of you to offer, though, Moomin. Poor Papa, he looked really upset about his broken chair. Guess it's his favorite one. It is pretty ancient, though, isn't it? Now, why don't you make him a brand new chair, Moomin? I don't think it's all that easy. My brother might be able to make one for him, though. I know. We can ask all our neighbors to bring him their extra chairs. Don't you think that's a brilliant idea, then? Oh. Oh. But don't worry. I'm sure your father can mend it. He's good at that sort of yes, thing. Yes, of course he is. Stop moping about that old chair, Moomin. Wait for me. Oh, I don't think this can be glued as easily as I thought. Anyway, I must be getting on with my new story while it's fresh in my mind. Already I've forgotten what the sky was to be if the sea was going to be blue. Oh, I'll have to write a synopsis at least. Hmm. so strange. I don't feel like writing at all. What are we to do with this chair? I'd definitely throw it away if it was mine, and I'd get a real cool new one. Oh, hello, dear. Blue sea, translucent sky. Hmm. I can't write the synopsis, but I should at least think about the first chapter. Hmm. Oh. Now let me think. I got, I'm almost got it, I think. Blue sky and uh, translucent. Uh, uh, oh. No, let's see. Uh, seagulls and translucent sky. Oh, watch out, will you? I'll never catch any birds. Lots of clouds and a sailboat with big white sails. Maybe the bait just isn't good enough. Little Mai, have you caught anything? Not yet. I think the birds around here are extremely stupid. Are they? The chair, it isn't mended yet. Where's Papa? Don't know. I think he's given up. The job's too much for him. Oh, ouch! Papa, oh. I'm back! Oh, hello, Moomin. <coughs> Do come on in. Mm. Papa? 
Papa, aren't you going to mend your chair? Oh, I'll get on with it tomorrow morning. It won't take very long. But are you sure you can write books on a different chair? Of course I can. Can't you see that I'm writing now? <laughs> Don't you worry about me. It's very sweet of you, though. Hmm. Oh, Mama said the dinner's nearly ready. Oh, good. I'm starving. I'll just write a bit more, though. You see, it's going so well right now. Yes, all right. <sighs> Come on, little birds. It's lovely corn. Have as much as you want. There's lots more lovely corn right under that nice basket. Come on. Come on, little birds. Come on. What's that over there? Oh, it's little Mai. It is you, isn't it? What are you doing up there on the porch? Stop! Go away! What? What was that? I can't hear Don't you! Don't come any closer! Ah! Oh. You're not still after those poor birds, are you? Anyway, is Moomin at home today? No! He isn't here. Where did he go? Denno! There, Snuffkin. Hello, Moomin. You seem very busy. Yes. Papa's old wooden writing chair has been broken. Are you talking about that big, dark swivel chair? Yes. The armrest needs to be replaced. This branch looks just right for the job. That chair was old, if I remember it. It doesn't surprise me it broke. Can he get another one? If he sits in any other chair, he can't write. You know what these writers are like, Snuffkin. Not really, but if you say he can't write in another chair, I believe you. Mm, but you see, I sort of broke it too, so I thought I'd better help him fix it. Oh, I see. But Moomin, I don't think that branch is suitable. Why ever not? The Ben may be right, but for carpentry, you need to use dried wood. Live wood will just crack and bend in all manner of different ways. I'm very much afraid you'll have to think of something else. I heard your writing chair was broken. Little Mai told me all about it. This was my father's favorite chair, but I know he wouldn't mind you having it, Moomin Papa. Well, thank you, Mama. This chair is extremely old indeed, but wonderfully comfortable. You must at least try it. That is very kind of you, Inspector. I made this chair myself. It's designed to fit anybody. It doesn't matter what shape they are. Excuse me. Oh. Your measurements are just what I thought they'd be. There, that should be perfect. Best of luck with your writing. Thank you very much indeed, Snork. Thank you, everyone, for going to all this trouble for my sake. I'd like you to know I appreciate it. Now do come in, everyone. Let's all have a nice cup of tea. Thank you, Moomin Mama. Papa, I'll carry your chair up to the study first, shall I? Oh, no, no. I'll do that. No, you won't. You just sit down and start writing. What a coincidence that we all met here, all of us carrying chairs. There are more chairs on the way. I know that the Hemulin was looking around in his shed. Moomin, Papa? Hmm? I'll put the chair in front of your desk and then we can check the height. Come along, Moomin, Papa. Oh, very well. Oh, why is everyone making so much noise? I'll never catch any birds if they don't stop. Oh, someone has caught the string on his foot again. Why can't people watch out? Ugh. My patience is wearing very thin. The least they could do is set the trap again. Oh! Fly, 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 fly! This is the end! I give up! Who wants to catch stupid birds anyway? Fly away as far as you want! I don't care if I never see any of you ever again! Oh, I hate this! Ugh! Papa did insist it wasn't really my fault, but you know what? I think he only said it to make me feel better. I can't understand why another chair won't do. I've never had any trouble writing anywhere, on anything, anyhow. 
Well, when you get older, Moomin, you see things very differently, I guess. When you always do something the same way, maybe after years and years and years, any other way seems sort of wrong. But Snufkin, doesn't it get very boring always doing everything the same old way? Maybe we're not old enough yet. Silly or not, and whatever the reason, if your father thinks he can't write sitting on anything but that special chair, then we have to believe him. And that's that. Some hot chocolate. Oh, thank you very much. It smells good. Listen, Moomin. That curved log you're sitting on, they're behind you. Huh? This wooden thing down here, you mean? Yes, that's it. How about that? That would do it. What do you mean? Would do what? It just occurred to me. It might be just the thing for Moomin Papa's chair. Oh. It's as dry as it'll ever get, and the shape looks right. Now, wouldn't that make a perfect armrest, Moomin? Are you saying that I can have it, Snuffkin? Yes, I am. Of course you can have it. Would you like me to come along and help you? No, thanks. I'll try myself. <laughs> what an eventful day we've had. And what an awful lot of chairs we got. Well, yes, indeed. It was so kind and thoughtful of them to go to all that trouble, Moom and Mama. I do hope that at least one of them will work for you, Papa. Yes. Good night. And good night to you, Moom and Papa. Yes, it fits perfectly. This chair's creaking. I've never noticed before, but maybe it's always done it. Perhaps I should have oiled it and taken better care of it. Varnished it, maybe. That chair certainly has been sat on for a very, very long time. And it brings back all sorts of happy memories. On the porch. I could also ask what you're doing out here. Oh, what's that thing you're carrying? Oh, I just made it, but I don't know yet whether the holes will fit. Let me see. Oh, this is beautiful. I didn't know you were so good with wood. Come on, let's try it out. I can't wait, Papa. Me neither. Oh, good. 
goodness, it's just perfect. Oh, Moomin, you have no idea what this means to me. My chair has come back to life once again. Yes, but I still have to varnish it before it's ready to use. Why don't you try sitting on it, Papa? Yes, why not? Right, stand back now a little, Moomin. Ugh. There. At last I can relax. Oh. Do you think it's worked then, Papa? Of course it's worked. It's miraculous. I feel inspired to write already. Thank you very much, Moomin. That's all right. I just hope it'll be a good book. It will be once I get going. I came all this way just to play with him. Well, come on, you two. <laughs> hey, Snuffkin, come and play with us. No, okay, then we'll just go down to the beach without you. Just the three of us and play ball. With Moomin Papa able to write again now that he could sit in his old, comfortable chair, peace returned to Moomin House. And Moomin finally went to sleep, exhausted after working all night on his carpentry. As he slept, this is the song that Snufkin played for him on his harmonica. <laughs> 